Hello everyone, it's Nano Palladium again. We are trying to test drive the Buki Rotovap app R124. So in this experiment we're gonna just uh, try to see how this uh, uh, Rotovap perform under vacuum and uh, uh, at first we just want to see how gentle is working without any noise and I'm gonna go increase the, t the speed high and low high and low now we're gonna just trust this um, if it is um, the temperature controller is working or not high is going to turn off low so basically it's set it up below uh, 34 degree now so now it's 40 now obviously it's going to turn on so there's no water there's no point for me to um, increase the temperature but anyway so let's just go and see what this piece of an instrument is going to do under vacuum we have uh, a BUQ vacuum pump and uh, I'm going to go a little bit closer and actually I have to adjust it okay I'm turning on the vacuum pump so so it's uh, set it up with uh, 24 millibar preset so I'm gonna ask them to start so start vacuuming but the valve is open so let's just close the valve and immediately you can see uh, just gonna go under vacuum and uh, actually it just goes very fast so almost 100 millibar and now it's close to 51 30 something so when it's just close it getting close to 25 millibar as you can hear the speed of the motor of the vacuum pump is just going to decrease so that shows it's just the ceiling inside of the instrument is all perfectly fine so before that I, sh I should have just um, mentioned that when you Working with this kind of beauty, you have to uh, use Dow uh, high vacuum grease here, and also apply here, and also apply here, and also there's two O ring both sides. You have to apply both of them. So basically, you see, you are reaching to 24, 25 millibar. So actually. The engine stop when it's a stop it just shows that the ceiling is perfectly fine there's no leak so anyway so uh, thank you for watching my first video so again this is Buki R124 as you can see root of that so and I'm, I hope to see you on my next video. The next video I'm just going to show you uh, actually at 25 millibar or 30 millibar what's going to happen to water. Anyway, bye.